Hey everybody, happy uh, Thursday morning. We are on our way down to the airport because we're heading to Mexico. And right now, I've gotta get the car seat in the car because we're running late. just ran after my dad because I forgot my phone. That would have been no bueno, no bueno. crossed into Mexico, like so many previous trips. So we made it through the border crossing. Erica saved us a huge amount of time because we pre-filled out our immigration cards. Huge time saver because nobody had the cards filled up and there were no pens. So it was taking people like 30 minutes to fill out their cards. The plane has finally arrived. Yeah. We made it past security. Everything went pretty smoothly. But you saw that guy that was really unhappy. He was flying on Volaris, and the line for Volaris was like, it had to be over 500 people. It was ridiculous. The efficiency of some of these airlines is horrible. So, the last few years, we've always flown Interjet. It's a little bit more money, but it's such a better airline. This is our last flight. This is our last flight with Aiden not paying. Another half hour and then we left. It took me forever to fall asleep, and right as I fell asleep, the last 10 minutes of the flight, I just fell asleep, and then we landed. Like, boom! <laughs> I was like right in the middle of a little dream. And it scared the shit out of me. Really? Yeah. It's traveling light, huh? Suedo. Traveling light. Okay, quick comment on using the CBX border crossing. We've used it about five times now. The first three times were very smooth, no issues, very little traffic. But the last two times I've noticed that getting into Mexico is fairly smooth except at the airport. Now they're making everybody fill out a short immigration form and there's really no way to get that form in advance unless you live on a border town and you could go to a Mexican consulate. So my suggestion is to make sure you have a pen ready to go because there's one or two pens available there and last time there was a line of like 30 people waiting to get a pen to fill out this form. We had a pen, filled out the form, we were able to cross within a couple minutes. The other item is coming back into the United States. Again, 
our observation has been there's only been one, maybe two uh, immigration officers working and there's been a relatively long line. I understand that you know there's gonna be lines when you're crossing international borders, but we're paying a $30 premium to use this and the lines to cross at Otay Mesa are sometimes much, much shorter, especially if you have a passport card or a century card, there's usually no line at Otay Mesa. And lastly, you've got to think about the fees. There was an introductory fee that was encouraging people to go. I think it was like $20, $24 round trip. Now the fee is $30 round trip per person. So if you're two people, you've got to think $60 to use this when you could take a cab from Otay Mesa to the airport for $12 and you can take a cab back from the airport to Otay Mesa for $18. You're basically $30 versus $60. And now if you're considering that the lines at CBX are sometimes longer than what you would find at Otay Mesa, you really got to consider that as an option. They do have family pricing, which is $55 per family. I think that covers up to six people and that helps make the cost a little bit more manageable. But if you were, you know, a couple buddies going down to Mexico and there was a group of three, four of you, and you're talking, you know, four people, $120. Personally, I would just get in a cab. You can put four people in a cab and you could go to and from the airport uh, for $30 versus $120. So that's something to keep in mind. Hey everybody, thanks for viewing the video and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hope you're having a great day.